Hello everyone, welcome to Shushu World. Today we are sharing how to make raw banana powder and porridge. Raw banana powder is frequently given as a first food in Kerala, but you can introduce it around 7 to 8 months. It is very rich in carbohydrates and is good for weight gaining as well as it is immunity boosting. So let us see how to make it. So here we have taken a raw banana. You can easily find it in most vegetable shops and then using a knife we will peel it. So here we are using the knife to peel, take out all the peel from all sides. So once that is done, take a slicer and then we will slice, make chips out of it because we want to dry them. So they should be very fine chips. So as you can see, they are very very fine. So use as fine a grater as you can find. Uh, slicer, I'm sorry. So now that you have all the slices, take a plate and ideally use a steel plate and then place them evenly. No, do, do not just uh, crowd them together. Place them in a single layer and then we have to leave it in the sun to dry. And then after about two hours, just flip them over. Turn them upside down. It will make sure that they will not get stuck to the plate. So after this, you have to leave these uh, banana slices to dry in sun for two days. So here I have already dried some uh, banana slices. As you can see, they are, they've become completely dried. I can easily break them with, uh, with my hand. Now, once you have this dried banana, we will take our blender jar and we will put all of them in this jar and then after that we will make a fine powder out of it. And that powder is called the raw banana powder and it is easily available in a lot of shops as well. So here it looks very very fine. But just to make sure that there are no big pieces, we can strain it. So take a strainer and then we will pass it through the strainer and if there are any bigger pieces we can again make a powder out of them, you know, grind it again. So yeah as you can see there are some big pieces so we can put them back in the jar and make a powder. So here I have some fine banana powder ready. You can store it in an airtight container for 2-3 to three weeks and use them, use it as and when you need. So now we will see how to actually use it, how to make the porridge out of it. So first take 2 spoons of this powder, I will use all that I have. And then to it we will add about 1 cup of water, don't add all the water in one go because we want to make a smooth mixture out of it. There should not be any lumps. And always uh, do this in cold water because if you put hot water or if you add it to hot water, it will become very lumpy. So we want a smooth mixture. That's why we are using cold water here. So use a spoon or a whisk to completely break all the lumps and make a smooth mixture. So meanwhile, we will make a jaggery syrup. So take about one teaspoon of jaggery and half cup of water and then uh, we will just uh, let it melt and make a syrup out of it. So here as you can see our syrup is ready. We will keep it aside by the and uh, make our porridge. So just keep it aside to cool down a little and by that time we will prepare our porridge. So we have taken the same uh, water and banana powder mixture and we are bringing it to a boil gradually. Okay, Put it on medium heat and continuously keep stirring it. So that it doesn't become lumpy. So if within uh, 2 minutes you will see that it is getting thickened up. So here it looks pretty ready. So you can close the heat if you want. And to this, now we will add just a few drops of ghee. Yeah, quarter teaspoon. And then we will mix it well. And now we will add our ready syrup. Strain the syrup and then mix it well again. 
to make a smooth porridge and that's it it's all ready it's very delicious it's very healthy it is good for immunity it is uh, considered very good for weight gain as well it is rich in vitamins and minerals so uh, it is a complete food all around for toddlers if you want you can also add some milk at the end so i hope uh, your child and you will both like this recipe and don't forget to hit the like button and to subscribe to this channel so that you get more and more such wonderful recipes and comment and let us know how you found it and what more do you want to see and don't forget to share it with your friends and family and we'll see you again very very soon bye bye